Hello crafty friends! It is the 1st of July which means it is sheet load of cards day. I hope you'll stick around, see the new sketch, see the first set of cards I made, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month is always a big day here on my channel. It is the day where I debut the newest sheet load of cards. Now, if you're new to sheet load of cards, this is a free printable I put out each month that tells you how to use just a few pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock to get a sheet load of cards. That is usually anywhere between six and 12 cards, depending on the sketch and the size of the paper used. As always, this is a free printable for my subscribers, and later on in this video, I will tell you where to find that download link. Do you want to see what the July 2022 sheet load of cards looks like? Let's go! Here's a look at page one of the July 2022 sheet load of cards. As always on the first page, you have the sketch, which if you print this at 100% or full size, it is to size as well. It tells you the supplies you need, how many cards you'll yield, which this month it is 12 cards. So this is gonna be a great month to kind of build up your card stash or make sets for friends and family members who love to send your cards out with notes. As always, if you don't need a full sheet load of cards, I do give you single dimensions for each piece. And at the bottom here are some alternative ideas of things you can do with the sketch. Now I do want to just give a special shout out to my channel members. You'll see down here at the bottom, your monthly support keeps me creating here on YouTube and keep sheet load free for all. Thank you so much for your support. Now, if you're not already a channel member and would like to find out more about it, I do have a link in the description box below. This month's sketch does have kind of a special cut to it. You'll notice here that we have some triangles on this. Well, this is actually a three inch square, two different patterns cut in half diagonally, and then one of each pattern is placed on that mat. Now don't forget tomorrow I will be back with that process video and I'll be giving you some tips on how you're going to put these cards together. But here in just a little bit, I'm going to show you my first set. Now speaking of tomorrow, as always on the second of each month when I am here with the process video, my wonderful team of collaborators comes and shares what they have created for the month. I have collaborators here on YouTube and over on Instagram, and if you want to go ahead and follow and subscribe to them, I do have them all linked in that description box below. This month, we do have a couple new faces joining us, so I can't wait to introduce them. Not only do I love to see what my collaborators create each month, but I also love to see what you're creating with sheet load of cards. So up here at the top are a couple hashtags that I would love for you to use, whether you share videos here on YouTube, post over on Instagram, or now even post over on TikTok. Now, if you're not on social media like that, but you still want to show us your sheet load, I do have a video linked below that tells you how you can either do YouTube, Instagram, or send in a card for the end of the month video. So page two of the free printable is the cutting guides. I show you how to cut each piece of pattern paper as well as the card stocks. Now you will notice on my first set that my ovals aren't exactly two and a half by two inches. You can use whatever fits your image or sentiment best and you can always use scraps for this as well and you don't even have to use an oval. You could use a rounded corner rectangle, a rounded corner square, or something completely different. My sketch is always just a suggestion and a starting off point for you. 
One thing I do want to point out because it's kind of like an odd measurement is these are 3.375 inch squares or three and three eighths. Now I do have that noted down here, but I did just want to point it out in case you're going to get started. Sometimes that's a little bit um, confusing or you might see this 3.75 and then it won't work out quite as you want it to. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I used for my cards this month. In front of me are the main supplies that I use for my cards this month. Over on the right, as an accent piece of cardstock, I use some Gina K Designs Tranquil Teal. You'll see here that in the floral piece, some of those flowers are that color, and I just thought it would be a nice added pop of color to the cards. For my sentiment, instead of stamping it, I did use this Hello die here, and then I used some oval nesting dies from Spellbinders to get that oval for behind my Hello. For my pattern papers, I am going with Minte's Happy Place line. You know I love to use their papers for sheet load. I chose a floral, this kind of diagonal wood grain, which you know I love a wood grain, and I thought this was fun and unique with that pattern. And then we have a pink and white gingham. Now any products that I can find still available, I will link for you in that description box below. But again, you use what you have in your stash and make sheet load work with that. There's no need to go out and buy these specific papers or use a specific cardstock color I am or the dies. Use what you have in your stash. Now let's see that first set of cards. I hope you enjoyed getting a look at my first set of cards using the July 2022 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. As always, the sheet load of card two page printables are free to my subscribers. Now if you're not already a subscriber and you want to download this month's file, it's free, it's quick and easy to subscribe to the channel. You'll just click on that red subscribe button below this video. And while you're there, you could click on that bell too so you're the first to get notified when I have a new video. Now I don't make you email me with any proof or sign up for a mailing list. We just go on the honor system here. So please, before you click on that link and download and or print the file, please make sure you are subscribed. You will find the July 2022 download link in the description box below, right above my Instagram team member links. You can click on it and download it to your device to print out, or you can just click on it and use it on screen. That is up to you. You can also print it out in black and white if that's what you have. It will work just as well as if you print it in color. Until my next video, which tomorrow will be the process, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.